Braves and Marlins. Game two of their three game series coming your way on this Saturday evening where we continue to remember and reflect on the 20 year anniversary of September 11th Patriot Day here at the ballpark. We'll never forget those lost on September 11th 2001. FTNY Tin House was the firehouse located across the street from the World Trade Center where John served as a firefighter for 17 years. Tonight, John is throwing out the ceremonial first pitch in honor of his six brave latter 10 brothers that lost their lives in service. And guys, the man on the mound is on a great roll too. Charlie Morton, Paul Bird. He's been worth every penny the Braves have paid him in 2021. <laughs> I mean, look at these numbers after a really rough start in April where he couldn't get around giving up home runs in that big inning. Now he is an ace, one of the best in all of baseball after a little mechanical adjustment, staying on track. The curb, a key for him. And the Marlins have first and third with nobody out. And sets the Marlins up for one of their hottest hitters, Brian De La Cruz. Nothing in one from Morton. That's a ground ball up the middle, a base hit for De La Cruz. And the Marlins are on the board in the first inning. RBI. And Jazz goes to third on the single for De La Cruz. Well, the Marlins have showed up to play tonight. They look outstanding against Charlie Morton, who was facing him for the sixth time this season. Now we talked about the breaking ball. De La Cruz stayed right on it right back through the box jazz being aggressive finds his way over to third base and rojas scores a great start for the marlins chisholm's at third day of the cruise at first one already home one out brinson batting brinson goes after the one two pitch and skies one out to center field this should be plenty deep for jazz to score jock peterson makes the play a sack fly for brinson and another first inning two nothing lead for the marlins Eliezer hernandez who gets the ball tonight for the Marlins, making his eighth start of the season, 35th of his career. Coming off a no decision against the Phillies. Again, still just trying to finish this season strong and healthy after having missed a big chunk of the season in the first half, basically all of it, for Jorge Soler. Traffic aboard as I'll be single to start this ball game. 2-2 pitch is hit high in the air and pretty deep to left center field, but inside the ballpark for De La Cruz. There's Freddie Freeman. And Freeman to the right side. And what a play that was by Eddie Alvarez to take a hit away. That's why you play him to pull. Take every hole away on the right side of the infield. And that was the third baseman Alvarez swung all the way around. Yeah, and he's going to go into the hole on the short hop. Down to both knees back up. Strong throw to Rojas. And nearly turned uh, what seemed to be an impossible double play. That had a chance to be first and third for the Braves and nearly turned into an ending inning double play. Austin Riley, who's been very good this year. Payoff pitch, and he does in fact chase. It's the first strikeout of the night for Eliasa Hernandez, and the side is retired here in the bottom of the first. So six men came to bat for the Marlins in their two-run top of the first. Now Eddie Alvarez will bat, getting a start at third. Eddie Alvarez with a high fly. This one going deep to right field and it's a home run in the right field for Eddie Alvarez. Eddie Alvarez with his first major league home run and it gives the Marlins a three to nothing lead. Well Eddie making this a memorable day. A spectacular play defensively. A big swing. His first home run as a major leaguer. A no doubter to straight away right up into the chop house. Coming in two on Lewin Diaz. And it was a little long there, and Morton disposes of him. Three pitches for strikeout number three. Diaz was really struggling from the left side. The book on him, he could not hit that pitch right there. Mm -hmm. Jorge Alfaro. Alfaro strikes out for the first time. Two out. He's got Eddie Alvarez in a 2-2 count. This Amazing. one chopped. Dansby's got it. Fast runner. He's not using speed skates. He's using spikes. And he's out number three. Morton has a perfect fourth. This would be a big one right here. With the crowd back in the game. A lot of room down the first baseline for Solaire. One ball, one strike. Driven to right field. And the Braves are on the board. Bobbled by Sanchez in right. Solaire on his way to second. It's a three to one game. You can get away with one mistake, Paul, but not two. No. Should have never thrown him a fastball. And I love that Solaire BJ didn't try to pull that ball. He shot it the other way. And that's why he's hitting so well here at Truist Park. I mean, he's not afraid to drive the ball the other way. You pitch it away, he'll go away. And man, he hit this ball really hard. Fastball tailing back in. 
off the corner, didn't try to open his shoulder up and hit a home run. He just stayed with that pitch and drove in the run. Credit to Charlie Morton getting that inning started. So two doubles, one run for Atlanta. Freddie Freeman is coming up. And instead, it's a base hit to right. Here comes Soler around third. Sanchez loads up. His throw is up the line. Ball dropped anyway. Base hit for Freddie Freeman. We got a one-run game. Another two-strike hit. And it comes with two outs. Having a knack for driving in runs. That's Freddie Freeman talked about 450 with two outs and runners in scoring position. He continues to get the job done. Here, a pitch down in the zone. Running away from him. And he reaches out there and pulls that back. Change up. He hooked it. And how about Soler? Running from the start, making it home easy. Soler's speed <laughs> covers a lot of real estate. So three hits in the inning. The Braves had three hits in the game until the fifth. Once again, this inning's been magical in the series. Now Austin Riley is the pitch. My drop base hit. Here comes Freddie. He's going to score. Austin Riley with an RBI. It's a 3-3 game. That had to feel great for Austin Riley. He got a slider up in the zone. Man in scoring position. The Braves continue to get it done. Fifth inning. The magic. Two nights in a row. Give up two runs early. Come back in the fifth. And this place goes nuts. Austin Riley connecting on a very good pitch. Getting the job done. Runner goes. Got a good jump. It's on the ground right at the back. Diving stop. The Braves are going to get it out of it. Wow. What a play by Dansby Swanson. And I think Atlanta is going to take a look at it. If he turns this double play, that is one for the ages. The call was safe. Is there enough evidence to show that Swanson had a toehold in time to take care of Alvarez? Every defender but Riley's off the field. Joe West getting the verdict, and he... Ah, oh, what a double play. What a fantastic play by Dansby Swanson. Two balls and two strikes on Brian De La Cruz. As De La Cruz launches one left center field, it's gone! A home run for Brian De La Cruz! And the Marlins take the lead. And he has untied this ball game in the eighth. Jesus Sanchez, here we go, baby. And now Sanchez drives one right field, and the Marlins go back to back. A home run for Jesus Sanchez to extend it to a 5-3 to three lead. He got big trouble. Rojas coming up. First and third, one out. There's the bunt. Santana snuffs it out, throw to the plate, and they got it. The tag looked to be in the crook of the elbow. Did the hand get in first? Wow, that's pretty close. He is safe. It is overturned. It's an RBI for Rojas. Well, can Freddie Freeman keep the game alive? The Braves are down to their last strike. And it's muscled into right field. A big league at bat. The Braves are going to bring the tying run to the plate. Freddie Freeman with his 76th RBI. He is amazing. Now it's Austin Riley. Riley, left center field. Brinson's there to make the catch. It's a Marlins win. They hold off Atlanta 6-4 the final score.